Good evening, I'm Amaya and welcome to a show which traces the journey that a private company takes in transforming itself into a publicly listed company on the Colombo Stock Exchange. On that note, welcome to Going Public, a groundbreaking new TV series which is a joint initiative of the Securities and Exchange Commission of Sri Lanka, the Colombo Stock Exchange as well as MTV Sports. Now on that note, I'm going to hand you over to our very capable host this evening. He is the former director of the Securities and Exchange Commission as well as a capital market expert in his own right, Mr. Vasala Premwagdana. Vasala, over to you. Uh, thank you, Amaya. Uh, welcome to Going Public and where we discuss companies and entrepreneurs who have just uh, done that uh, very successfully. And here with me today, uh, uh, two people who need no introduction and a company who needs no introduction at all. Here with me uh, to represent Odell is uh, Otara Gunawadana, uh, Chief Executive uh, and uh, Founder, and Sanjay Kulatunga, Director uh, of Odell. Uh, hi, welcome. Hi. Otara, welcome Sanjay. Uh, so Otara, tell me, when you first arrived back here in Sri Lanka uh, as a young girl, uh, what were your plans? Did you ever believe that you'd be here, uh, head of a huge listed corporate? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, that was really not the plan and it happened by chance. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, I'm really happy it, it happened and it's been a long journey, starting from, uh, you know, virtually nothing and then eventually, uh, you know, coming to uh, bringing Odell to bring a publicly listed company. Um, so there have been, you know, different steps along the way and many years of, uh, of a lot of hard work and different um, stages of, of where the company has, uh, has had to go through. Um, but it's definitely been a very exciting uh, journey. Fantastic. So uh, when you first started out, of course it was a small company, the urban legends are that you were uh, doing it from the back of a car <laughs> and you know various stories. Uh, everyone is interested in you and your company and we are of course very proud of what you have achieved and where Odell has come and what you have uh, uh, brought Odell to, okay. uh, to be. Um, Sanjay, what is your uh, position uh, in Odell? You are you're on the board as... Yeah, I, I'm one of the independent directors mm -hmm. and um, since listing uh, um, three independent directors have been brought in um, and our role is uh, um, uh, very much to do with governance and um, uh, basically uh, helping the uh, Otara and the management uh, at the board level. Fantastic. So uh, Tara, uh, do you see, uh, for example, what made you go public? What was the primary driving reason? Um, I, I just think, you know, when a company um, uh, comes to a certain level, I think it's time uh, to, to look at it in a different way. And, uh, you know, it was really looked at on how, where does the company go uh, from, from where it was at that time, uh, how does the company grow, what is the future, what is the best possible way forward for the company. Um, and as much as uh, it was um, very difficult for me to make a, a decision to, to let go of, mm -hmm. of, uh, of um, the company I founded, um, it, was, it was the right time to, um, to do it. And, um, and I just felt, um, you know, as, as the company has, um, has developed, it, you know, it comes to a point where you just feel it is the right thing to do and it's right for the company. Um, and that really was the, the basis of, of the decision was that it was um, the right thing to do in, mm. you know, for, for, the, right. for the company. So financing plus the, the structural changes or what uh, were you hoping that, for example, that this could be a bigger company uh, by listing? Uh, is it the financing that was driving your uh, decision? Uh, yes, a combination of things. One was uh, financing to be able to grow the company mm -hmm. uh, and to take it to, to the next level, uh, plus um, and making it a much more professional organization and something with, with value, to add, va to, uh, mm -hmm. to add a value to the company. Uh, I think we also tried um, you know, uh, approaching various investors. Uh, there was always um, uh, you know, disputes, or not disputes, but uh, couldn't really agree on, on a value because you know, one would say one mm -hmm. thing we, and we would think it was worth something else right. and um, so that things like that were happening mm -hmm. as well and um, and really the, we thought this was the best uh, the best way best uh, um, to move forward 
Right. Um, so what kind of other forms of uh, capital would you all have uh, looked at before making the decision? Why I'm asking this is obviously uh, there are many companies that are currently listed and there are companies that are not listed. Given that this program is trying to address companies that are either, either on the verge of uh, listing or maybe even trying to convince people who may have not even decided that this is a good opportunity. So I think it's necessary for us to figure out what was the mindset uh, starting as an entrepreneur and starting a small company then developing it to a you know very large uh, company before going public. I guess it's like obviously you know uh, uh, it must have been difficult for you to transit and thinking of giving up your company. Did you feel of it like that? Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> I did, and uh, uh, you know, it's uh, when when you started something and you've uh, and you you're very much a part of, mm -hmm. of the business uh, for many many years, and then uh, you know suddenly you have to let go of of uh, even though I was I was you mm -hmm. know, still would continue running right. the company. It, it it is a change. It is a change mindset change. How mm -hmm. the company is managed is is different, um, and and there is definitely um, a change overall that that um, that I had to get used to mm -hmm. uh, but as difficult as it was it was a good change uh, both for me personally and for the company and um, I mean I just think it's it is it was a very positive um, move positive change uh, Sanjay anything to add to that so I, I think uh, in terms of uh, the balance sheet as well it's about like growing you know there, there's a certain amount you could uh, leverage as well mm -hmm. and uh, at that point uh, I think uh, uh, Otara uh, felt that there was a need to uh, go to the equity market so that it will clean up the battle balance sheet mm -hmm. and also give the opportunity to grow even bigger mm -hmm. and uh, faster and that that has been the reason and from there onwards I think we haven't really looked back uh, on right. that decision. So, was it, uh, 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 would it be correct to assume that at a certain stage, if you don't uh, move it to the next level, uh, that you kind of feared that you'd be stagnant at that small company, and if you went public, you know, you it opens up a whole plethora of you know different yeah. avenues. Is that what? Yeah, I, th I think it all depends on the capital options you have. Mm -hmm. I mean, debt is ob obviously one. Private equity is one. Um, getting in um, um, uh, strategic investors, um, as well as the equity market. I think mm -hmm. uh, if you plan your uh, uh, growth in a, a certain way, and uh, the way Odell had planned it, uh, it seems like the the correct thing to do at that stage was to go public mm -hmm. and uh, it gave I think it opened the door for much more bigger things than taking the the route debt of option. Um, debt option at mm -hmm. that stage yes we will probably come back and revisit some of this stuff that uh, you brought up as we explained this uh, just to get an overall idea how was the transition for example how did the employees uh, and uh, your uh, operational uh, strategic operations, how did they get affected by listing or did they get affected to the um, obviously there's a change in in you know how you manage the business and and the reporting and a lot of that the structure has ha had to change uh, but it, it is um, it's not a difficult thing to do and uh, I think it's a good thing to do anyway uh, it, it brings in discipline it brings in um, you know visibility to to anyone outside and that that keeps you sort of um, you know much in much better um, right. uh, better managing uh, it helps you manage the so company it brings better. A structure into yeah, I, I think the key is discipline because from um, being an entrepreneur sometimes you tend to um, do as you please so mm. and having a board to report to m makes you much right. more like you know you have to put all your um, uh, arguments down and mm. you know have board papers and uh, governance is looked at much more right. with a closer mm. eye and we have an uh, audit committee I'm the chairman of audit committee mm. and we have a remuneration committee um, so um, much more structure and discipline uh, and which which I think was the um, Otara might disagree probably the best thing that happened to the company in yeah. my view. <laughs> No, I'm sure because at the end of the day, uh, while you are uh, in a, a small environment, uh, it's of course you can take you know all the decisions mm -hmm. and you take the company any way you want. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess at a certain point, what you're also saying is that you know you need to get more organized, you be more disciplined, and kind of structure the next level of growth. 
So obviously, what you're saying is post listing was a better period for Odell, as you understand. <laughs> yeah, much more opportunity, and I think uh, in a way, when you're growing, uh, and when especially when you start from nothing, it, you know, you can take much bigger risks, mm -hmm. and the, the the values and the volumes are, are not as large. But the bigger you get, mm -hmm. um, you know, the you, it's, it's it gets more and more difficult to take, you know, sort of. So, um, such big risks, but of right. course, uh, you know, you should. I think um, we should never get totally structured into having to, uh, you know, not not go after that gut feel and mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur, not um, not lose sight not of, lose sight of God, that side. That. There has to be a balance, but it right. certainly does help in um, in making uh, better decisions and informed decisions, and um, and and hopefully that's what makes the company better. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, how about? losing uh, confidentiality of you know your strategies and losing um, having to uh, one concern people do have is your you know your whole corporate affairs become public <laughs> because you are uh, listing is that a concern or how did you all handle that uh, yeah it it was a difficult uh, that was uh, one of the difficult changes for me but but you know not everything gets uh, is public you still there's still a lot of a bit large portion that you don't that, uh, that you don't need to share, uh, but um, certain things that you do need to share. It doesn't take long to to get used mm -hmm. to it, and it all helps with the uh, with where the company uh, is at that moment and where you want the company to head. And um, I, you know, it's essential that the public is aware of all that information, and mm -hmm. it doesn't take long before you get used to it. Really, right? Excellent. So, did you have to bring in any new divisions for public relations or anything like that, or did you all currently? have that when you were going into the listing process? Yeah, we, we had most of that. It mm -hmm. was just, uh, you know, just to, um, we had a lot of advice on, you know, how it needs to get structured and what sort of things you need to report mm -hmm. on and, and what you need to communicate and, um, you know, things like that. But it's, it's not a difficult process for, for anyone to, um, to adjust to. Right. And the timing of the IPO, how did you uh, make a decision on that? Uh, the timing was, um, I mean, basically planned when, uh, I guess when uh, it has to be when when I'm ready. Mm -hmm. um, uh, obviously, I have to. At that time, it was mostly it was just me, so it was when I was ready, and uh, and also the company obviously has to be ready. So then it's right. uh, you know they, there are teams that uh, that you can an a team of advisors you can go to mm -hmm. in, in different areas where you can get advice on is it the right thing to do? Is the company ready? Right. Uh, what what you have to the process you have to follow, um, so all that was done. And maybe Sanjay can add, add on that. Brilliant. As well. I think we need to go to a break, and after we come back, we'll be talking further with uh, Otara and Sanjay. Welcome back to Going Public, and here with me is Otara Gunawardena and Sanjay Kulafinger. And going back to where we left, uh, we were at uh, Going Public decision, the decision to list. Uh, so did you feel that uh, when you were you know, on the verge of uh, going public, uh, who helped you make the decision? Who was involved in coming to this? I mean basically like I said before, I, I, I had to be, um, to be ready to, um, to want to do that. But of, uh, when I started the, co the company, uh, actually my, uh, how it started was my, I borrowed some money from my mother and my brother and they all became shareholders of, of the company. And so they were, we were the three shareholders of, of Odell. Um, so uh, you know, it was a joint decision and a discussion uh, that I had to have with my, with my brother and, and my mother, and uh, saying that this is, um, you know, the, the what we should do, and basically. Uh, you know, it, a lot of input um, from my from my brother as well on on what um, the, on the plan and probably the best way forward, and um, and various other people who gave advice. Uh, uh, you know, as right. well. I think the main thing also is to um, to be for me to be comfortable with what had to be done mm -hmm. uh, or what what was supposed to to happen as a next step. Um, you know, there are many people you can you can go to for for you know advice and mm -hmm. different views. Um, I think it's really important to understand the the change that that will happen, um, and uh, and to be ready for that change. Yeah. And um, so, so initially, of course, you all had an internal discussion, yes. and then obviously you went to the experts. Yes, yeah, right. Um, so, uh, Sanjay, uh, uh, what is the process that if you are talking about uh, once the investment, the listing decision is made, then you decide, okay, fine, we are ready for it. Uh, what happens next? You think? 
I, th I think um, the first of all, the decision is not easy for any private company to uh, come to terms that they are going into the public domain means that giving up uh, not only control, uh, as uh, was pointed out, information and uh, um, competitor uh, sensitive information, so to speak. So it takes time and also to put the processors in, to have proper computer systems, you know, the accounts on time, all that is necessary. And what's, once that is there, uh, I think it's a very easy process. Uh, once you make the decision and you think your company is ready and you're ready, mm -hmm. to uh, go and list is not a, uh, a difficult task. All you've got to do is go to a um, corporate finance mm -hmm. advisor, go to a bank and say, we want to list it and uh, to the stock exchange and they CC the approval process is very easy. Uh, I think now they brought in introductions back, so um, it makes it even easier That's right. um, to uh, list uh, mm -hmm. someone who wants to do that. So in Odell's uh, case, uh, the investment bankers were whom did you uh, have as your corporate mm -hmm. finance guys? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, John <laughs> Keels was appointed yeah, as uh, John right, Keels was there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> Sorry, because yeah. of the brother, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. Uh, so how long was that process for you all, for Dell? Um, actually, it didn't take too long. It was about um, six months okay. for, for everything, you mm. know, from start to end. Wow, um, that's fast. So it's, it's not, right. and I'm sure it can be done even faster yeah. now. If, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but also it depends on, you know, the company has to get ready and different um, things need to be uh, put in place in, in time for it. But, you know, right. uh, I mean, John Keats, well, they, were, they were very good right. in it. So as long as you have, uh, obviously, a competent, innocent banking firm that is going to advise you, uh, you believe that it is not too complicated within three to six months. Yeah, it's, it's, period, not, it's not difficult. You are yeah. able to convert yeah. Yeah. a yeah. listed company yeah. into a listed yeah. company. I think it's nothing to do with the investment bank or um, the listing process, mm -hmm. but uh, it's all to do with the decision to list right. and whether you're ready to list and whether the company has the structure mm -hmm. uh, in place to uh, list uh, and that, that's the key. Right, right. So the key factor here is shall we list or not. So obviously having jumped that everything else becomes a kind of a self uh, rolling process. Um, so what are the results, the challenges, uh, the results and the uh, challenges of uh, obviously going public uh, being listed uh, and then uh, post listing process uh, when you see the share price move up and down or when people are asking questions and you need to be able to uh, give them the future plans of the corporate uh, you have to make you know, account statements and so many so, so on and so forth is that uh, a, a, again another process or do you believe that similar to being listed this is something that a company can take in stride and move on I think it's it just falls into place after that as long as you you run the company uh, you know with the same intention of, of trying to do what's best for the company grow the company um, of course you have shareholders now who um, who are part of the company and you do uh, what you do and and what the plan for the company is in the benefit of of, of, the, of the company plus the shareholders mm -hmm. plus plus all the you know the employees of the company um, I, as long as you you do it um, you know you go on that path I, I don't think it's not difficult to to answer any questions or mm -hmm. show any um, you know any information or um, you know everything else becomes quite um, quite easy as long as you you do it right. uh, you know with the right intentions of, of growing a company uh, for the in the best way that's possible right so describe the, the, the first day of being listed. I mean, I think in New York, of course, they <laughs> go and ring the bell. So how, what, what, what was your deal experience? Uh, yeah, it was quite interesting, actually, to go to uh, Stock Exchange mm -hmm. and, and ring, the, ring the bell. It was, really, uh, it was really good, and there was a whole team of us that went. Right. And, and then like exciting. a horse race, the <laughs> yeah. share starts taking off. Yeah, yes. It was a very, actually a very memorable day. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so excellent. So the first day, of course, was very exciting. Uh, so how did you feel? I mean, did you feel uh, any different from the day before when you are not listed <laughs> and you are suddenly listed? And uh, uh, yes, I mean, uh, definitely it is. Um, uh, actually, I, I d it wasn't such a. I didn't really feel much, uh, you know, to for the for the ride up to it. But uh, you know, from the day after, it was really quite a big. Uh, mm -hmm change that I um, needed to get get used to um, it suddenly hit me actually after uh, but 
you know, I'm still very glad it, it happened, and it really was the, the best thing for for uh, for the company and for for, for me as well. And um, I really think it's uh, it was really uh, the right time for 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 it to happen. Right. So you felt that it was it allowed you to grasp a bigger brand. Yeah, I, I think it, it allows the, the. I mean, the the whole point was the and you know from the beginning or you know what I used to always look for was how how, how does the company grow and how how do you grow the company from one day to the next and one year to the next. And um, so it came. It comes to a point where you know you, you're in a position, and you think, where, where next? And so this was really the decision that was made for for the where next part. At um, you know, um, 20, uh, 18 years later, uh, and uh, that was really um, how how it all came about. About how to grow the company further, and um, this was the best way that. Right. Um, that so the quality, yes. Talking about going public. I yes. Mean. I remember still my first board meeting and we were invited uh, uh, three independent directors to sit on the board and Otara was on one side and um, the chairman Ruchi was on the other and here the three of us asking Otara questions and uh, she wasn't prepared for it. She was quite <laughs> <laughs> wondering like, you know, what are these guys now? I have to listen to them. <laughs> um, but um, over a period of time I think it has really, um, I mean, um, become the norm where we discuss and you know so I, I think it has been an interesting journey from mm -hmm. uh, the time we went public I, I don't know how Tara feels <laughs> about it so what would you think is the greatest at least up to now the biggest benefit you may have had from the listing decision other than of course uh, you know uh, the participating in the uh, share price but as a corporate um, well, also, it, it, you know, a lot of for us, it was really good. Where uh, I mean, it was a very successful listing, and there were so many people who who wanted to uh, who who bought shares to because they wanted to be a part of the brand, and and that was it was really uh, the response was uh, was really overwhelming, and it was uh, really a, pl a pleasure to see, uh, and um, and subsequently after that, so it gives them a chance as well to be a part of of the brand, part of Odell. Um, and then subsequently, it also it, uh, you know it has the ability to attract uh, in investors. You become uh, very visible to you know to, to people in, in the internationally, uh, who people who may be interested in Sri Lanka, who may be interested in retail, um, and it, it really helps with that. And I think that was really part of uh, of how we um, how Parks and um, you know the next step of, of Parks right. and um, Malaysia also being interested in in Odell. Right. So basically, uh, it helped you attract new uh, investment partners uh, because of the fact that you have been listed. It gives you much more transparency to the public out there. Yeah, I think so. Excellent. So uh, the Parkinson's uh, retail came on board, and they are uh, how much uh, percentage does their ownership here? Uh, they now own about forty-seven percent. Right. And the public owns. Uh, about the um, yeah, 12, yeah, 12, 10, 12 to 15 percent. Right, so you have almost sure divested exactly. half of the company. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, this is something which, of course, uh, most people, I guess, if they're entrepreneurs, will probably dread. But <laughs> having made that decision, you know, you personally would think uh, this is the way to go forward. I think so. I mean, I think it's uh, you know, it is it is a good step uh, to do. I don't. I can't. You know, it's a business. You have mm. to do what's right for the business, not uh, you know, not hang on to everything and and right. and keep it for right. your own benefit. And yes. um, and I just felt it was uh, yeah. the the right thing to do right. for and for the company. Right. And also, the key yes. is that um, just because you had uh, 18 years of success, that, that doesn't mean that there's mm -hmm. going to be a. a another 18 years of success unless you make some strong decisions on um, being a formidable player in the mm -hmm. retail industry. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, to do that, uh, I mean, going public would have been the first step, but uh, getting a very strong retail partner to um, participate in the growth going forward was mm -hmm. another. So it couldn't have been done, uh, couldn't have been done if not for uh, giving them a sizable stake and getting their interest and their muscle behind you to make sure that uh, we put the uh, retail malls and uh, participate in the Sri Lanka's next phase of uh, growth in the retail industry. That's, I think, key. I think it's time to go for a break now, and we'll be back again with Otara and Sanjay to talk about Odell's going up. Welcome back to Going Public. I'm here with Otara and Sanjay. Hi. 
Uh, we were on uh, Parkson's uh, involvement in Odell. Uh, what brought them in as uh, far as you know? What made you think they are coming into Odell? Um, they are a group of um, um, about 120 or 130 odd department stores uh, in Asia and they, they like to go to, to, um, um, to countries in, in Asia and uh, they tie up with, with uh, another retail partner um, to, to develop the, um, and to grow the, the company that they invest in. Um, so that was really the main, the main interest of, of Parks and, and um, for us it was a great opportunity as well. One was to get the, the, fu the funds in, we, we preferred to take that route rather mm -hmm. than the debt route and also it gives us a lot of opportunity to, um, um, to tap into their department stores in the, in the future to see how we can, we can link with them. Um, so it, it opens up a lot more uh, doors and gives us a lot more opportunity to look at different options. Yeah. How we use the options is uh, we'll, we'll, we will see in the next. So they're coming years. in as obviously as more of a strategic partner, and uh, they have bought a stake into Odell. Uh, they obviously like Odell and they like uh, the economy it is uh, functioning in, and they believe obviously there is something in it for them. Mm -hmm. So uh, if Odell was what it was. Uh, we thought we, before it went public, would you have uh, foreseen this kind of partnership also, possibly? I think it would have been difficult um, for them to, to come in and it may not have been of interest mm -hmm. as well. I think when you're, when, you're pub when you're a public company, it makes things much more, uh, um, op uh, much more visible and, uh, you know, and it's much easier to, to do um, to something like that, you know, to, right. uh, to, to get an right. investor is, is much easier. So another benefit, obviously, other than being, for example, uh, old or uh, uh, previous partners to divest is one. Uh, secondly, uh, when you list, you may have opportunities that perhaps, like what you have seen, uh, big companies, international, global companies may uh, be able to take a stake in you and increase your stake in more or less. Is that something, uh, Sanjay, would you add yeah, to that? Uh, very much. I think uh, Parkson uh, uh, believes in Sri Lanka and they have looked at Sri Lanka. As uh, Otara said, they are a very big uh, Asian chain. Uh, with uh, more than 120 malls um, and um, when they decided that uh, in uh, um, uh, certain uh, locations that they want to go into they look at a, a strong partner and uh, in Sri Lanka when they decided to come to Sri Lanka I think Odell was the uh, first choice uh, public listed then we will run company so naturally they wanted to uh, see whether they could uh, uh, come in and get a stake in us and grow in Sri Lanka and for uh, Odell as well I mean looking at Parkson's uh, strengths uh, we felt that it was the, uh, the best thing that to do is to bring them in uh, with a sizable stake so that um, uh, we become much bigger than what we are mm, right. and um, so I mean it's, it's uh, looking at from entrepreneurs point of view when you evolve sometimes uh, letting go is very difficult mm -hmm. but once you let go yeah, I mean I think opportunity come your way and uh, I think what has happened is uh, Otara when, when Parkson came uh, to give up uh, to an extent a large uh, chunk of uh, Odell mm -hmm. uh, was willing to do that purely because it will only make um, her chunk bigger in a sense right. Uh, uh, right. once the retail malls and everything right. comes. So you're actually not giving something up you're gaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I say that. Definitely. Yeah, I yes. think so. <laughs> so obviously Parkson's of course uh, like Odell um, other investors, there's another percentage of the public that's uh, now out there. How, how is the relationship with them? As a publicly listed company, do you feel compelled to worry about the share price and earnings, uh, the pressure of you know, reporting uh, every quarterly? Yeah, is I, that I a concern? Yeah, I think as a retail um, um, outfit, uh, retail company, you know that it's a cyclical business. It goes through ups and downs. And um, uh, at the moment, uh, as you can see, retail is a bit slow. Um, but uh, we don't worry about uh, the next quarter or um, the, uh, the, the six month results. But what we're doing is making, uh, along with the uh, with uh, Parkson's uh, contribution, making strategic decisions that makes um, Odell extremely well entrenched to benefit from uh, the growth of Sri Lanka, I mean the, the Sri Lankan retail industry. 
So the next quarter's earnings are not uh, really what we look at, mm -hmm. uh, but we're, we're extremely concerned about um, uh, when uh, earnings are not growing. <laughs> but uh, having said that, uh, it's, it's uh, one year down the line or two years down the line is what we are really planning for. Right. Yeah, I think the focus is still always, um, you know, how to improve the company, how to grow mm -hmm. the company, and and do what's best f uh, for the company, not not um, looking at the share price every day right. and worrying right. about it. But uh, you right. know, it has to be um, looked at, um, yes, short term, mm -hmm. but but also you know, in the long term, how what's best for the company and how how you really. Um, you know, uh, do what's best to, to grow the so company. I think it's time to go for a break now and we'll be back again with Otara and Sanjay to talk about earlier it's going up. Uh, Parkinson's coming on board would obviously uh, uh, perhaps uh, enlarge in your capacities to uh, as your uh, business drives. What are they bringing on board and what are your plans for the future? Uh, the, well, part of the, the investment of Parks and, and uh, them coming in was to bring in uh, funds to um, to the company to to, to expand further. Um, so we are looking at um, you know building larger retail spaces and uh, and and growing the business um, by doing that over the next few, few years. Uh, things are already in progress and um, and we hope to to get started on it um, um, as soon as possible. Um, so that that really is the was the main intention of of um, you know of bringing the funds in. Mm -hmm. Sanjay, yes. yeah, I think they have a lot of expertise in uh, uh, building retail space, and uh, we feel that uh, with the uh, funds that has been infused, we have about um, in excess of two billion in our balance sheet um, um, at the moment, and will help us to. Uh, um, make sure we participate in mm -hmm. um, the next phase of retail growth and uh, retail growth and uh, I think Parkson uh, has a lot of uh, as I said uh, uh, knowledge in uh, construction and retail uh, space building so it should be good I mean we are looking forward to the next wave of uh, uh, Odell's uh, growth at the moment. Well, I'm sure so is the public <laughs> and uh, they are all uh, interested in figuring out where Odell is and where Odell is going to go. Um, yes, just to wrap up on what we have discussed so far. Uh, of course, Otara, you said that you know this is a privately uh, held, uh, family-owned uh, business that you drove yourself, uh, starting back, you know, way back, uh, you know, 15, 15, 20 years ago, was it? Yeah, twenty years 20. ago. Um, and you obviously looking back have no regrets of going public no, and no, being a no listed regrets. company. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it has brought you. Uh, made you bigger, better, and brought you benefits. Uh, there are nothing bad to say about going public. <laughs> no, I don't. No, right. not at all. Uh, I really think it's, uh, you know, it's if when the time is right, it is something that uh, uh, any company should should look at and see if it's uh, right for them to do. And uh, it's, it's, it's really nothing to, to fear going public. Unfortunately, it's time to wrap up this show and this episode. Uh, I have to thank Otara and Sanjay for taking time off their very busy schedules and coming to our studio to do this show. Uh, thank you, Tara, thank and you. thank you, Sanjay. Thanks. And back to you, Amaya. Thank you, Vasula. There you go. The only thing permanent about the world of business is change. And we just spoke to Otara Gunavardhana as well as Sanjay Kulatunga, who are representatives of Odell PLC, a company which has embraced change and grown from strength to strength by going public. So we'll be back next week as well with another great episode of Going Public. For now, it's goodbye from us. <laughs> <laughs>